That's it, Roach. Looking for a man. Goes by Hendrik. What do you want with him? Wanna talk to him. What about? Give me a bottle of something strong. You gotta go. I'll open the back way for you. I haven't finished my drink yet. In came vodka. Who's this? It? Brave warrior looks like. Got two swords, see? Oi, great boy. What's the point of having two swords? Wonder if he keeps an extra prick in his trousers too. You fucking death. Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? Someone who'd prefer not to be bothered while he's having a drink. <laughs> Hear that? We've a distinguished gentleman in our midst. Shine your boots, governor. No. Wouldn't want the grime in your hands to rub off on them. Bolo, did you hear what I heard? Go away, or I'll kill you. Damn it! Enough! Cover that stick, boys! Hold it together! Now! Have you any idea what the Baron will do when he learns of this butchery? The village! He'll tear it apart before anyone can say it was some wandering mutant done it. An iron fist he's got. Where's Hendrik? You deaf? You understand what I'm saying? Baron won't let this stand. Calm down. Your Baron's no idiot. Seriously doubt he'll think you locals cut his men down with farming implements. Now where's Hendrik? Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Looked that away this morning and saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? Anything else you can tell me about Hendrik? Odd fellow. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Baron's men don't like strangers. Aye, and he stays out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. 
thanks and keep. Go out the park. More of the Baron's men in the village. No need to worry about me. I'd rather you not make any more trouble for yourself, for us both. cellar on a hot day and the mist gone leave me be whoever you is get away Calm down. It's over. Aye. It's over. All's past, never to be restored. I'll not forget that ever. Looking for a man named Hendrik. Supposed to live in this village. Aye, he did. No longer. They nabbed him in that hut. If you'd have heard the cries, sir. If you'd have heard how a man can scream. How he can suffer. Tell me what happened here, step by step. They took him. Took him all. The sun was waning, see. And the dusk went crimson like blood. Thought to myself... Strange. The toads. I cannot hear them. By the end, he could do naught but moan. Just one. Weren't here long, the terrors. Yet the village froze like in the heart of winter. You in that hut when they rode off? No. And I'll not set foot there. Never. Farewell, and peace of mind to you. Mm. Mm. 
tortured him. Maybe they missed something. Need to check his pockets. Trousers are stiff, as if hung out to dry midwinter. Maybe hid something in his jerkin. Damn, he's cold as ice. Nothing here. Should check his boots. Blood, congealed. Key hidden in his boot. Gotta fit a keyhole. Somewhere nearby, hopefully. There's a draft. Gotta be a space under this rubble. Guess I should do some cleaning. Payment for a sack of grain. Amount due for a charcoal shipment. Hendrik was masquerading as a merchant. Hmm, what's this? Notes among the ledger entries. Clever. Interesting headings. Missing and wanted. Subject appeared in Skellige. Also sighted in Novigrad. Appearance unchanged. Ashen hair, scar on her face. Avoids contact with others. Drunken swine. So-called Baron hosted subject at his castle. Or should I say, illegally appropriated fort. Reason unknown. Talked to Baron at Crow's Perch. Clashed with a witch. Subject landed in swamp. Encountered a witch. Conflict ensued. Cause unknown. Find the witch. Talk to the peasantry. Village of Midcops. Caution advised. I'm being observed. Don't know by whom or why. Unsettling signs. Dog ran off. Water in bucket froze solid. Strange glow observed in the sky. Ill omen peasants say. Somehow they learned Hendrik was looking for Siri. Thus the torture. I'm too late. My only leads, the Baron, and some witch. Damn. Come on, Roach. Take it easy. Take this! <laughs> 
Baron home? Not your concern. Need to talk to him. Open the gate. Not a chance. We heard what happened at the crossroads. Gotta find another. Gotta look among the villagers. Might find one brave enough to help me. Greetings. Greetings to you. Other villagers all scurried off soon as they saw me. You didn't. Oh, oh, I'm too old to scurry. Besides, what could you do to me? Kill me? Go ahead. I've not long to live. Tan me eyed? Wouldn't work. My skin's right brittle. Lived here long? Mm. Since I was born. Reckon that'll be more than 70 winters. Must know the area well. Not bad. Listen, I gotta get inside the fortress. Can I do that without going through the front gate? Ye can, but few know the way. If you were to make an humble offering, call it to this humble man, maybe I could point you in the right direction. Fine. Don't really feel like arguing with the guards. Years back when the old lord still ruled Crow's Perch, the blacksmith's boy went missing. Old village looked for him. No luck. Finally found the boy in the river. He drowned. Tragic. But how's that supposed to help me? A few days on, an old woman who served the Lord found the boy's cap near the castle well. So, either he lost it there or he fell in the well. Clever man. Village folk built a shrine where they found the lad's body, northwest of here. Way do you find an entrance to a passage nearby? Shrine. Where is it exactly? Track that weaves through the village. Follow it to the bridge. Turn right past that. Then go on, straight as piss, till you get to a crossroads. Turn right again. Then follow that path up a hill. Shrine stands upon it. you come from? There's the shrine. Passage must be somewhere around here.
must be close. Vizima, now those were balls. Attended a few, me and my Annie. How oh, how we danced, how we twirled. <laughs> oh! One, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> hey! Enough. I don't care how you do it, but the deliveries must be weekly. Won't you stay for tea? No. Besides, you've another guest. Aha! A defender of the downtrodden. Greetings. News gets around quick. That it does. When I learned you'd slaughtered my men, I thought to have you captured and hanged. Or at least flogged. But then I thought one tough cocker if he bested that lot of cutthroats. I'm not a thug for hire. I know who you are. But since you come here having perpetrated that bloodbath, I assume you've something important to discuss. I do. Very well. Then let's discuss it. One thing. You do well to behave this time. Remember, I've still to decide what to do with you. Which I shall do after we've spoken. Make yourself at home. Hey, where would I put the bloody vodka? Ah, there it is. A snifter. Why not? Ha! A man after my own heart. Hmm. With Foltes dead and Natalis whereabouts unknown. Bloody hell. Who's a loyal Sumerian to drink to these days? Himself and his company? Good enough. To the matter at hand, I'm Philip Stranger. Now the blob tits round here call me the Bloody Baron. Geralt of Rivia. Blob tits call me the Butcher of Blaviken. I said already, I know who you are. Truth be told, it's the only reason we're talking. How do you like it here in Velen? I don't. Swamps, bogs, marshes everywhere. Exactly. Someone loses their way round here. He becomes damn hard to find. What are you getting at? Many have lost loved ones here. Some their wives, others their daughters. Get to the point already. Siri, that's why you've come, isn't it? So she was here. She showed up some time ago. Exhausted, wounded, and stinking like a soaked hound after a hard hunt. Later, I learned she'd come from the swamp. Said some beasts from the woods attacked her before she could reach the village. 